This is a John Paris Q. Six and a half hundred quid this Q. I bought it at a competition, cost bloke with skin, I got it for one and a half. Ronnie O'Sullivan uses this Q, so. I had a phone call off this kid, and there's a kid in Chesterfield who wants to play you. He's a good player, but he's not in your league, and I think he... he I, I just think he thinks that you're past it. I think you know him anyway, Bob Snell, they call him. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, he fan fancies his chances, and he's just failed to get on tour, so he can't be playing that well. Fancy him. Yeah, it's not a problem, Paul, of him. We'll take his money. <laughs> so, what I want you to do is just practice for a bit. I'll go for it then. I'll get in touch with Bob and we'll see if we can get a right good few quid going on it. Hey Bob. I've got the venue, but with venue being so small, we've decided that less people there, better it would be for you. Obviously, you bring a few of your pals, like there'll be a few of his, and like. Just so there's enough room so you can get round the table so you focus totally on pool instead of yeah. having to move people out and where. Per frame money or just a, a lump sum? A lump sum, first to nine. How much? Well, this is what I've come to see you about. This is where you come good. <laughs> 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 this is this is Des, by the way. All right, Des. This Hi. is my man that uh, thinks I'm better than anybody else. To be quite honest. All right. To the tune of what? What we're talking? Five hundred. Can't we go a little bit more than five? How much more? Well, we're looking at quite a bit, quite a lump sum. A real lump sum, if possible. As long as it's not stupid. Well, I would be looking at some in region of four thousand quid. First to nine, no start on e either side. Straight four grand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no problem. Will you have some of your lads there? That'll have a bet with some of my lads. Yeah, I can arrange that. There's quite a few people actually who do want to back my man. Job done then. You'll do for me. Cheers, Paul. All the best. Yes. Cheers. Thank you very much. Right. Cheers. Hopefully, today I'm meeting somebody who is a potential backer. Uh, he's got a few quid. He's a nice bloke and he absolutely thinks world of Teddy at pool. If Teddy wins this match, he'll be £1,200 in pocket. It's not a bad day's wage, really. A couple of hours. Organised this match against a kid from uh, Chesterfield, uh, Bob Snell. They call him. I don't know if you've heard him. We've decided on a game, and it's four thousand quid. So, if you're willing, Steve, I'd like you to be a backer. You haven't been wrong so far on what you've uh, what you've advised me, have we? You know what I mean? Yeah. But I've got to take your word on this because I haven't seen the boy play. There's an option of a rematch yeah. after. What frame span? First to nine. Just short frame span, that you know. Here for that money. With that kind of money, I'll be straight with you. I think so. Terry's happy with nine, though. He's happy with first to nine. 
I'm going to make sure that two weeks before the match that Teddy gets his head down and... That's, your, that's exactly what you did. But that's what I've got to do. Yeah. I mean, nobody wants to throw money away, do they? And I'm going to make sure like, that he stays off at ale and really puts his concentration back into the pool. He's got to get his head down and do it. Hey. I know what you mean. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Two grand. I'll take two. Two grand. Two. Which is Steve. Just think, Ben, in a few years, I might be playing these kind of money matches. Because they're definitely good enough. As for Terry Hunt, well, he is from the city of Sheffield. They call him the Blade, 35 years of age, a beaten former finalist here back in 99 against Quentin Hand. And those are the brief facts about Terry Hunt. Will Terry be able to stand that, the pressure from Rob and possibly the noise from the supporters? Well, I mean, his results in the past, Terry, you know, he's a great player. Uh, but I think because he's not practiced as much as he'd like to, uh, I just think it could be too tall an order for him. Will you welcome, please, the Blade from Sheffield, Terry Hunt. <laughs> Terrific finish from Terry Hunt. Once again, replying to everything McKenna throws his way. The man from Sheffield will be enjoying a short interval, 6-3 in front in this race to 10. Terry Hunt's been a revelation. Rob McKenna's lucky not to be even further behind him. Yeah. Obviously, a couple of friends got the fluky out of the Red Bull. But Terry Hunt's just he's been amazing. It's like a different man out there. <laughs> Right, what it is, I've got I've organised this at a pool match. And I think you know him, you've seen him with me a few times, Teddy Hunt, that really oh, good yeah, pool yeah. player. We're like ranked number one in the world. And we've organised so We've organised a match for four thousand quid. I've got one backer at two grand. Yeah. Oh. And I was just wondering if you'd want to stick some money up for this match. What why how much do you how much do you need in total? Two grand. It's for four it's grand. Total. I've got two grand up. Yeah. Uh, I'm just after another two grand. And what what's odds of him winning? Like, I know he's a very good player, but. I well, like... I know this kid who was playing is from Chesterfield. They call him Bob Snell. He tried to pass for main tour and he failed. Now Terry could still pass for main tour easily. What happens if? If we lose, though. You lose. You lose. <laughs> <laughs> you, lose. You, lose. <laughs> you lose two grand, mate. I took 500 in. But I thought I'd come to you first to see if you'd want to put lots up. Because I don't really want to be going out getting loads of backers. Because we don't really want a lot of people there watching the match anyway. We just want about 20 people. So there's plenty of room in place. There's not a lot of people that know about it, actually. Go on then. Full two. Oh, damn, I don't know. It's fucking hell. I've been working all year for that. <laughs> uh, I'm going to leave it then, Mick. I'm yeah. going to leave it. I'd love to help you, Clyde. You know I would. All right, Paul. Thanks a lot. Have you been doing some practicing? Tomorrow practice, Sunday practice, Monday practice. Ready for a big day. I'm putting some hours in, trust me. Every time I broke yesterday, two or three went in. Did you clear them up? You know it makes sense. That's my boy. <laughs> <laughs> There's no prizes for second, is there? I don't think it's a problem. Because I know how you play, you see. Mm. Even fun. though I've not seen him play, but that no. doesn't bother me. Are you worried? Am I worried? Yeah. No, no I'm not worried. I'm happy at that. 
than Terry Hunt. Chalk it up. A much more confident player. He was in the quarterfinal. 6-3 up. Frame number 10. Two ball straight into the center pocket. That's exactly how McKenna started this match out. Look at these rights as well. Sitting pretty. And what a time for Rob McKenna here. Lionel that he secured this first frame coming back after the mid-session interval. 6-4. He's right back on the heels of Terry Hunt. I mean, this is what it is. It's really a head game. Well, they're playing for the biggest tournament in the world. Yeah. So at the end of the day, they're going to take every advantage that they can get. Yeah. As we see Terry Hunt ready to crack into them. Frame 16. Cue ball, the left center pocket. And it has all come undone. And that must have been painful to watch if you're a Terry Hunt supporter. 8-7. Great right shot, but the cue ball is in the center pocket. And Terry Hunt was losing the white throughout this break. And that must have hurt. Down it goes, and Rob McKenna, but not without a few anxious moments, through to the finals. He will play I've been told that Bob is well capable of like breaking and dishing. There's not going to be any trouble on the day, is it? If worse comes to worse, I can always make a couple of phone calls. No, you won't have to worry about that. All right, Paul. Listen, the reason why I've come to see you is because I've got this pool match going off. Terry Hunt is for quite a bit of money. And straight to the point, I'd like you to be a backer if you would. Who's he playing? A kid from Chesterfield called Bob Snell. Bob Snell, never heard of him. What are they playing for? They're playing for 4,000 quid. I've got two grand now. And we were just hoping that you might put other two up. If you're going to put practice in, I'll, I'll definitely do it, but like I say, it's a lot of draws to lose, isn't it? We are. Well, I'll give me word like it'll be. Mm, oh, well, I'll do it then. All right, All right. mate. All right. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Let's have a look at money then, lads. Right, there's eight grand there. Mick, will you just put this in your safe? Hello. 
Sorted? Yeah, yeah, yeah no problem. Sorted. That's not yes. good. the best man yeah. 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 yeah, no problem.
Anybody could win this game now. I can't believe it's gone this firm. Yeah, I honestly thought it would not go this far. Unbelievable. Come on, Teddy. One good shot on Teddy. Come on, son. Come on, Teddy. It's a real thing. I'm cooked like that. I'm going to twist it. 